Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey buddy, welcome back to a quick beer review. A uh, new brewery alert on the channel. That's uh, a collab, but I don't think I've ever reviewed a Fort George uh, beer. They're in Oregon, Astoria, Oregon. Uh, and this is a collab with Fort George, Ghost Town, and Brewhouse. Ghost Town is an amazing brewery up in Oakland. Um, everyone knows Brewhouse. Uh, but this is called Three Way IPA. This can art's awesome. Uh, this beer comes courtesy of my man Pete. I appreciate you, my brother. Um, I actually have to apologize to you, Pete. You sent some beers uh, last month and I reviewed them. Um, it was a weekend where I reviewed the beers that you sent. There was four beers um, that another buddy sent and then some more treehouse beers and for whatever reason like eight eight of the videos um ended up when i tried to put them on my pc the files were corrupt and there was no audio on any of them so i lost like two weeks worth of beer reviews and pete uh your beers that you sent last time were part of those so i apologize for that but hopefully this one works because i want to review a beer that you sent so um this is <clears throat> It's a West Coast IPA, 7% alcohol by volume, and it was canned on May, I think it says May 21st. So time of recording, six weeks in the can. Um, I'm a little concerned about this can uh, when the box showed up. Um, I mean, Pete, you packed it perfectly, but uh, this can leaked somehow, and I don't know how, because I can't hear anything, and I don't see where it would have leaked, but it's a little squishy, so I don't know if we lost some carb, we'll see. Um, I just, I don't know what's gonna happen. There's still a decent crack on that. Hopefully we're all right. Mm, I might be a little still in the glass. Whatever. Who cares? Not your fault. I don't know. I don't know how it leaked. That just, it happens sometimes when I get beers from people. Cans leak and I just, I can't, there's no puncture. I don't know. I'm not sure. It looks all right though. I mean, there was a little bit of head on there. Um, this beer actually, gosh, we just, <laughs> dirty glass mafia play up. We just cleaned this glass and there's bubbles on it. Um, this beer, much like the main lunch that we just drank, Sunshiny Yellow. This one's actually a bit brighter like Sunshiny than that beer. Um, there's, I mean, there's bubbles in the glass. It looks kind of champagne-y just like the last beer. So this beer is not completely flat, thankfully. I don't know how it leaked, but um, there's no head. I mean, there was half of a finger maybe when we poured it, but it looks awesome. It looks like a West Coast IPA. That new school West Coast IPA, very bright and vibrant. Let's smell this. This smells really good. This smells very stone fruity, very tropical. Does it tell us the hops on here? I probably should have looked beforehand, huh? Drink fresh. This smells very citrusy, orangey, um, and very tropical. So immediately I'm thinking like Citra, maybe Mosaic, Strata, those like kind of hops that everyone's using in these new school West Coast IPAs. But yeah, it's like pineapple-y, stone fruity, um, and super like sweet oranges. There's a little bit of dankness. It's not like crazy dank. Um, this is definitely like that new school, like getting tons of like fruit out of the hops. It's like hop juice without not being hazy juice. You guys know what I mean by that. Like if you juice hops, I wonder what that would actually smell like. I say that all the time, like as a descriptor that I think would something would smell like. If you juice hops, I wonder what that would smell like. It would probably be fucking crazy. Yeah, this smells awesome. It's going to taste it. Cheers. Thanks, Pete. Appreciate you, bro. delicious so there's you know bubbles in the glass this feels you know a little flat on my palate which is fine it's no big deal it's actually kind of crazy because like you get so much hot flavor because you don't have like the um, co2 going across your tongue <laughs> um, but this has a nice pithiness middle of your tongue it's like a citrus peel grapefruity maybe it could go towards like lemon um, but that intense like zesty pithy citrus um, those stone fruits and the tropical fruits <clears throat> That kind of pineapple-y, apricot-y, peachy thing right at the front of your tongue. And then as it goes across, you get hit with that smack of like that intense, zesty, citrus, bitter bite. And it, it lingers, much like lunch that we just drank. Dude, it's like, it's been in the high 80s here in North County, San Diego this week. Um, drinking these beers today, like in the, it's warm out here in my garage. Uh, these are so fucking refreshing. I want to chug them. This beer is super dry on the finish too. has that nice crackery finish. Um, and that sweetness just goes well with that bitterness that hangs out on your tongue. This is really, really good. Um, I don't, I, I'd have to go and look at my untapped. I don't think I've had very many, if at all, 
beers uh, from Fort George. Um, obviously, Ghost Town is unreal. Their hoppy beers are fucking awesome. And then everyone knows Brewhouse. Super hyped, like really good hazy beer um, <clears throat> brewery. And uh, I had, I think I had a West Coast Triple IPA from them that was really, really good. So this collab's fantastic. It's, I mean, this is world class West Coast, new school West Coast IPA. Super easy drinking for 7%. Like you could just drink one after another. Fucking so, so good. So um, that's three way IPA. I think they release these like pretty often. They might change the hops up. I thought I saw. After I got this can, Brujos post about a three-way IPA. So maybe they're just like doing it kind of all around the same time, or maybe it gets released a bunch. I don't know. Maybe someone can tell us. So um, good, good stuff, Pete. I appreciate you sharing this one. Uh, it is, I mean, this feels like I'm drinking um, a new school West Coast IPA from down here in San Diego or somewhere in California. So they're doing it right up there in Oregon. So that's it. Appreciate you guys watching. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar, in the arcade, all that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.